on the nth derivative of y equals x to the power m. Now, for this, let us find the first derivative. The y on the x equals m x to the power m minus 1. Now, let's look at the second derivative. The squared y on the x squared equals m times m minus 1 times x to the power m minus 1 minus 1. That gives m minus 2. Now, the third derivative, that is the cube y on the x cube equals m times m minus 1 times m minus 2 times x to the power m minus 2 minus 1. That gives m minus 3. Okay, now, what will be the nth derivative? That is the nth y on x to the power n. It means that we will take m times m minus 1 times m minus 2 times m minus 3 times m minus 4 times m minus 5 so we reach the nth term. So now, how do we write that one? Okay, so let's see what will be there. If you look at it, this one can be written as m minus 3 plus 1. This minus 3 is what we have there. If you look at this, m minus 1 can be written as m minus 2 plus 1. And the minus 2 is what we have there. And this m minus 1 plus 1, this minus 1 is what we have there. So here, we can put there up to m minus n plus 1. That is very simple as that. Let's write it more clearly. That is m minus n plus 1 times x to the power m minus n. Wow. Now, let's see how... We can rewrite this one as m factorial, that is, divided by m minus n, all factorial times x to the power m minus n, as the nth derivative. Now, let's take for instance, if I have y equals x to the power 7, then I want to find the cube y on the x cube. So, what do I do? I'll just take cube y on the x cube to be equal to 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 3 all factorial times x to the power 7 minus 3. Wow. Now, 7 factorial is 7 times 7, sorry, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial divided by 7 minus 3 will give 4. That is 4 factorial. So 4 factorial will cancel 4 factorial and we have x to the power 4. So here we multiply 7 by 6 by 5, which gives 210 times x to the power 4.